So it's been a minute since I've done a Tackle Warehouse Tuesday. And I'm gonna try to get back in the swing of these uh, videos every Tuesday, just because um, I like buying stuff from Tackle Warehouse, and I think a lot of people do. I just wanna share what I get from Tackle Warehouse, and maybe you'll go buy it. Link will be in the description below. This one is for bank fishermen. Hey, let's go to this pond. Hey, let's go grab your bag. So, okay, let me just, before I get to a head, let me just show you. This is my Tackle Warehouse bag, okay? This is a big, this is a big bag, like you can hold, Gotta love kids, right? I mean, she's 20, but you know. Like you can probably put three of the 2,700 tackle boxes in here, whatever, 3,700, 4,700, the big ones. It's just, it's real meaty and you can fit a ton of stuff in here as well. I mean, it, it has a ton of storage. I would probably take this bag if I was a co-angler, like fishing a tournament or just going out with a buddy on a, you know, on a bass boat on a lake somewhere. And I, you know, I've got like probably four or five, six rods with me. So that way I have enough tackle to accommodate five or six rods, right? So this is, this is kind of like, you know, my boat bag. But this right here, this is the Avco Urban Angler bag. Very small, very compact, as you can see. Don't let the size fool you because you can stuff a lot of tackle in here. This is more of a bank fishing, pond fishing, river fishing. Hey, I'm gonna go fish Old Man Jenkins Pond over the hill. I'm gonna grab this. Good to go. It ain't too bulky. Good for like two rods, like a spinning rod and a, you know, a seven foot medium heavy um, bait cat. You know, that's usually what I take when I go pond fishing. I don't want a lot of stuff because I'm walking. I'm usually going through woods or hopping fences which I always have permission. I wanted to do a review on this bag because I love it. And I just got back from Hawaii. I went to Hawaii for like a week. I carried this bag with, I put my wallet, my phone, you know, like sunblock. You can put a lot of stuff in here. Or if you go you stop by a store and get some waters, you can stuff them in here too. I kind of got like all this stuff laid out right here. If I'm going pond fishing, I'm taking minimal stuff, but stuff that works in ponds. I don't need deep diving crankbaits. I don't need like, huge, you know, I just, I don't need a lot of stuff. So I minimize it for where I'm fishing. Check this out. So let me just kind of show you on what all we can put in this bag. Everything I have here, I kind of pre-rigged up, pre-packed some spinner baits. I've got some Cinco type baits, flukes, you know, some brush, some baby brush hogs, whatnot, seven inch power worms, because you know, that usually works in ponds where I fish. This binder just kind of goes in here like so. I'm not sure how long these plastic bags will last before they start tearing or whatever, because they're kind of thin. It works, and if it tears up, I'll probably take the binders out and just stick soft plastics and all the stuff in here. You've got that right there. You've got like a little zipper here. And this is where I'm gonna put like some of my little crappy baits, you know? I'm gonna put like the little little crappy uh, Snapjack, and Strike King, the Shad Pole, Curly Tail. I'm gonna stuff those in there. And I've got like a little trout lure, like these little inline spinners. Don't sleep on them for pond fishing. Stuff that in there too. I got a bag of hooks right here, like different sizes that I can use for Texas rigging worms and whatnot. Then in this one, I've got some wacky rig hooks, some Nico rig hooks, and I'm gonna stuff them right in there just like that. We've got this pocket filled up, so we can zip this like so. And then this other pocket, which is right here, I've got me a little box right here, a little box is what I call it, a little box, plopper, plopper. I've got different size EWG hooks. I've got some offset shank hooks. I've got my little, my little uh, bobber stoppers, my Nico weights, my bullet weights in here, some little crank baits, little pop bar, you know, some, some chatter baits, stuff that you would need, you know, in a pond. And I can stuff that one right in there. And here's some extra stuff I've got laying out. I need to put these. Always have some, some frogs when you go pond fishing. They will tear them up. So I'm gonna open this back up. Just kind of stuff these in the back. Trailer hooks for your spinner baits. I don't know if you use trailer hooks or not, but I do. Um, I feel like I catch more fish doing that. We've got all this in this pocket. This little pocket right here, you can probably put, you know, your cell phone or I got some pliers. I'll probably stuff these 
down in here because you always need pliers. So I got this whole other compartment right here where I can put stuff. And this is like my little vlogging camera if I want to go pond fishing where I don't have to take my big camera and pop that little dude in there. Chesty, which I hate wearing chesties. Haven't got my GoPro back from the shop yet, so that will go in here as well. Just like that. You got your little tripod if you want to set up some different shots. And I'll just undo these uh, Velcro deals right here, Velcro straps, and I can, I'll just bend that up like that, strap that, bring it down a little bit, strap that, bend this back, and there you've got your tripod right there, ready to rock and roll. I really love this freaking pack. Here's another thing that comes with a little backpack is a hydration system that you can put in the very back where I put all my camera gear. Probably not gonna use this, it's a good idea. Um, I just never been a fan of like the hydration says, feel like you pour water in there, probably gets warm or beer. And um, you know, I guess if you're doing like a long hike to a pond, which I probably won't, but it's cool that they have. And I think that tube kind of runs up where the tripod is and runs around and you got like your little black. You just know this is the Tackle Warehouse Tuesday. This is what I was wanting to show y'all right here. This is very cool. Very minimal backpack, not too bulky, perfect for pond fishing or river fishing, or if you got a kayak, this would probably be perfect. I just don't like carrying a bunch of stuff and because I usually don't use half of it. Two rods, one backpack. You know, when I go pond fishing, I'm usually, I usually take a spinning rod, a seven foot medium spinning rod, and then I'll take a seven foot medium heavy um, casting rod. I don't know what else to say about it. Is I love that little thing. And like I said, you don't have to use it just for fishing. You can use it for, for travel, chaperone at your kid's field trip. Bingo, snacks, waters, cell phone, wallets, whatever. Improvise with it. So that's my Tackle Warehouse Tuesday for today. Thanks for watching. Catch me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Till next time, catch you on the floor. Oh, damn, I ain't got no lenses in there. This is what the hell kind of shit.